Hi boys and girls, it's Nick from NickJBarrett.com um, I just wanted to shoot this little video because I was actually um, I was actually doing it and I thought it be, might be relevant um, Now basically we all know how to kind of grab the, the uh, code from a YouTube video uh, and stick it into a web into a web page or a blog post or a uh, a blog page. Um, it's just a question of going underneath, going to embed, and you get a whole load of options, um, color, and sizes. But so often you kind of want to create a video like a welcome message, um, and where you want to put that video, YouTube doesn't offer this the correct size for that video to fit hence these videos are too big to go in, into where you want them to go like into the sidebar so what you can do is you can grab this code here and like I'd done in a previous um, video which was to adjust this here which is in my blog I just wanted to basically this edge was coming right across into the menu so I needed to bring it back so I needed to adjust the width and how I'd done that was very simple here's the post here if you go from visual to HTML very very simple HTML um, if you've got other code in here as well for like other bits of writing so that you know where the YouTube code starts and finishes, YouTube code always starts with the word object and it always ends with the word object. So you can see it. Where is it? 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 There we go, there. So I got distracted there. So it's going to be somewhere in the middle here. So basically, um, you know, in the last video that I'd done, I wanted to adjust the width. So you've got width and height here. So I just typed another number between these quotes, a smaller number, because uh, I just wanted to adjust that. But just know that with the width and height, it appears twice, so you need to do it twice. Uh, so if you do it and nothing happens, it's because you haven't done it twice. So I've just changed the um, the width there as well. Now in this example, if I wanted to say put it here, which is in the toolbar with this little video here um, for a little welcome message or some sort of uh, maybe it's a, uh, some kind of opt-in message or a lead magnet that you want people to watch for video series, that's obviously far too small area. So what you have to do is again adjust both, so you're adjusting the height and the width and then you want to go to your widgets, uh, where's widgets, 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 under appearance you want to go to widgets and then you want to to go to the sidebar in this case it's the home sidebar I've already done it um, in the way there. you want to go to the sidebar home sidebar and as you can see I put in a text um, widget which is just normally around here somewhere you just drag it across like that and it goes in although I don't want that one um, and then you just basically copy your code into um, into this area, as you can see, I've taken it down to 260 uh, by 200, um, and then you save it, and then you should end up with a look like that. This has been Nick J. Barrett. I shall see you on the next video. All the best.